Hi, my dear students. First of all, I heartily welcome all of you to our SSLC class. My dear students, in a SSLC science subject curriculum, there are totally 15 chapters are there. In each, first chapter is nothing but chemical reaction and equations. Yes, my dear students, all of you already learned what is mean by chemical reaction and types of chemical reaction and how to write what are chemical equations in your previous classes. I think all of you already learned. But in this chapter, we all are discussed about water. First of all, what is mean by chemical reaction and this way, how chemical reactions with people are seen in a two different types of state. It means one is physical change and second one is chemical change. Afterwards, we people are seen water types of chemical reactions. There are totally four types of chemical reactions. All of you already know. First one is combination reaction, second one decomposition reaction, third one displacement reaction, and fourth one is double displacement reaction. Afterwards, we all are learn water oxidation reaction and reduction reaction in this chapter. Okay. Can I start? Yes. Consider the following situations of daily life and think what happens when. My dear students here, 4 to 5 but uh, <coughs> uh, situations are given here. First one is, milk is left at room temperature during summer. What will happen my dear students here? Yes. Milk is converted as water. Good. Why? Why? In a summer season, humidity is more. That's why converted into milk to curd. Milk to curd. Second word, an iron tower pan or pan or nail is left exposed to humid atmosphere. What will happen? My dear students here, physical change is this place. And third one, grapes get fermented. Yes, it is also the water chemical change. Food is cooked. It is also chemical change. Food get digested in our body. Chemical change. We respire. It is also termed as chemical change. With the help of in these situations, we people are uh, classify what uh, different type of situations into two types. One is physical change and second one is chemical change. In all the other situations, the nature and the identity of the initial substance have somewhat changed. We have already learned about physical and chemical changes of matter in our previous classes. Whenever a chemical change occurs, we can say that a chemical reaction has taken place. Yes, my dear students, here taken one example that is nothing but we respire. We respire. In that situation, we people ask this water intake of oxygen. Yes, outtake of a carbon dioxide. That is termed as water, one of the chemical change. You may perhaps be wondering as a what is actually meant by a chemical reaction. Yes. All of you already think. What is mean by water? Chemical reaction. Yes, chemical reaction. <laughs> How do we come to know that a chemical reaction has taken place? Let us perform some activity to find the answer to these questions. Yes, my dear students. Come with me. First activity 1.1. 1. 1. Clean a magnesium ribbon about 3 to 4 cm long by rubbing it with Sandpaper, hold it with a pair of tongs, burn it using a spirit lamp or burner and collect the ash so form in a watch glass as shown in figure. Burn the magnesium ribbon keeping it away as far as possible from your eyes. And what do you observe? Yes, my dear students, first of all, magnesium ribbon is burned. Burn with the help of oxygen. What 
in the half wash is magnesium and zinc. It burns with the help of water, dietary molecule that is nothing but oxygen. Oxygen is served as water as a water of combustion. With the help of oxygen, we people are burned. Magnesium. What will be happen? Magnesium is burned and formed as a white ash. Is it clear? Yes, observe here the action. When magnesium is gas with oxygen, it can be used to magnesium oxide. Yes, my students, the equation is correct. No, equation is wrong. Why? Here, oxygen is diatomic molecule. That's why 2Mc plus O2 is equal to 2MCO. Yes, here, reactants A and reactant B both are used to product AB that is nothing but magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide is white ash. Form in the form of water, white ash. Yes. <clears throat> it is formed due to the reaction between magnesium and oxygen present in the air. Is it clear? I think all of you already understood what uh, first activity. First activity is nothing but when magnesium ribbon is react with oxygen, it can use as water magnesium oxide. Yes. You must have observed that magnesium ribbon burns with a uh, Dazzling white film and changes into white powder. This powder is magnesium oxide. This formed due to the reaction between magnesium and oxygen is present in the air. Yes, my students, it means oxygen is responsible for water, the process of combustion. With the help of oxygen, magnesium is burned and formed dazzling white light. Of course, formed as a white ash. Is it clear? That's why what, what is formed here? The product is nothing but magnesium oxide. The second activity. Second activity. Take left right right solution in a test tube. Add potassium iodide solution to this. What do you observe? Yes, my dear students. First of all, take water. Lead nitrate solution in a test tube. In a test tube, take lead nitrate. Afterwards, add potassium iodide solution to this slowly. Add potassium iodide. Solution. We will observe. Conversion of yellow precipitation of lead iodide along with potassium. Iodide solution. Yes, observe here. The question is PPNO3 twice plus potassium iodide. It can use as to Yes, what is to this? <coughs> In this activity, we people can see this water. Finally, observation is nothing but uh, observation is made here. Conversion of yellow PPT of lead iodide along with potassium iodide solution. Yes. Next, activity 1.3. Activity 1.3. Take a few granules in a conical flask or a test tube. Add dilute hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid to this. Do you observe anything happening around the zinc granules? Touch the conical flask or test tube. Is there any change in its temperature? Yes, my dear students. Now, come with me. 
ते कोनिकल क्लास
reactants and for magnesium oxide is kept as part the product yes with the help of activity which falls can see the water when magnesium ether ripple is burns in oxygen or with the help of oxygen it can form water magnesium oxide b product is here magnesium oxide the substance is that undergo chemical change in the reaction magnesium and oxygen are the reactants the new substance is magnesium oxide for doing the reaction as a product yes we will say already no water magnesium and oxygen both are termed as reactants and magnesium oxide is termed as product a word equation shows change of reactants and products through an arrow placed between them the reactants are written on the left hand side with plus sign between them similarly products are written on the right hand side <coughs> with a plus sign between them the arrow head points towards the product active and shows the direction of the reaction yes my students it is from the water l h s and r h s reactants are written in the <coughs> left hand side and the product is Afterwards, it means in an arrow mark observe, an arrow mark side. It is the thing, but right hand side. In between two <coughs> water reactors, it means first one is A and second one is B. In between A and B, the symbolical representation is taken here. Water plus not symbolical representation. The sign is taken as here plus. Okay, the product is. <coughs> Upward shot, but is with the help of water arrow mark. In this line, we people are write chemical equations. Okay, now <coughs> take another one example. What is the word water? G. When G is react with sulfuric acid. G is react with sulfuric acid. Yes. Here G is A and sulfuric acid is B. In between A and B, plus sign is used. Yes. It can use as water. The product is nothing but zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas. Yes, here in between zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas plus sign is used. It means plus sign is used both side. It means in a LHS side as well as in a RHS side. So I will write chemical equations. Yes, thank you, my dear students. In today class, we have discussed how to classify the things with the help of situations. There are totally two types. One is physical, and second one is chemical change. Afterwards, <coughs> we have discussed what are uh, uh, chemical reactions with the help of uh, activities. Finally, how to write chemical equations. Thank you. Thank you once again.